So, um, so yeah, I've been working on this attempt at making like a, a revealable treasure map um, to go along with the map generation. Uh, so the idea would be like when you generate a map um, and drop a load of locations in it, they would also be marked on this map with either a question mark or just sort of hidden completely. Uh, and then as you sail around um, the map, so you know, as the, the player moves around, he reveals, you know, elements of the map so you'd be able to know how to, to track back to them previously. Um, I'll give you a, a little breakdown of how this effect is done. So um, part of it is done with Shader Graph here. So what I do is I have two textures. I have a reveal texture and a top layer texture. Um, the reveal texture is linked to um, a splat map that I draw to. And I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and then the the top texture is just the texture that is um, overlaid over the top of the start. So here it's this this sort of light papery color there, and then the brown is the the one underneath. Um, so yeah, the papery color is is what I'm overlaying. You can actually see the sprite for that there. Um, what I do is I take the the full color components of that. Um, oh, I'm actually passing them through a combine here because of something I was trying to do previously, but I'll probably skip out this combine step. That's actually a good point now. Uh, and pass those in, and then yeah, what I do is uh, I add the alpha uh, from a texture that I draw to. Um, well, I actually use the red component because I draw the the map as red, but I convert the red into a one minus, and then pass that into the alpha. So that means that the bits that are drawn red aren't rendered on the image. Um, I actually, you know, tried to follow some other shader graph stuff and things down here, and this could be a little bit simpler, and I'll probably uh, clean it up a little bit. Like this can be deleted immediately um in the future because i haven't really used shader graph all too much recently um recently i mean at all to be honest so i'm still very new to sort of learning what it does essentially um and then you can see everything can't you yeah so if i open up visual studio this works based off um it's a shader that i had that i knew i previously had from a tutorial that i followed years ago um i think the original tutorial was like using it to uh, it was a tessellation tutorial I would, to make snow and you would like draw tire tracks in the snow or something. Um, so I knew I had the ability to draw a flat map somewhere and I, I managed to find the shader that I used to have and then made a few tweaks to it. Um, so yeah, what you do is you, you, I pass in a, a coordinate essentially to this, which is linked to the player's position. Um, and then that just draws to uh, the splat map. And then what I do is in this script, which is the draw to map script, it's not super efficient, but it's, you know, okay enough for this like one effect to happen one time uh, like in one space of the game um so yeah run into a splat map um like blit that map onto this material and then release it um i'll probably be updating this because this doesn't need to fire every frame it can sort of just go every couple um but yeah it means that you know as the player's ship sails around um you see the map reveal and seeing as the player will actually be moving at a speed that's a bit slower we can sort of you know tweak how much is revealed and i'll i'll probably at some point add in a bit of tweaking onto um just exactly like how much fade there is in between areas and stuff um and i'm also toying with the idea of the actual world having a fog that is revealed much in the same technique you know it's the essentially all i'm doing is revealing an image here right so if i overlay an image of the same size um over the world in the same way i was doing the fog in the last video then I don't know why my material for this has gone either. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, essentially this this fog material here that you see in this tiny little scene window that I'm using, um, if I was to like layer this fog material over the world, in theory, I could reveal this using the same method, um, which would mean that you have like an actual fog surrounding the edges of where the player can see um, that they would have to reveal as well. Um, so I'm gonna toy with that uh, and see how this goes. But yeah, you can see where the effect is going, I think there's still obviously quite a few uh, tweaks that I need to make in order to actually get the the map to look a bit more like a map. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did most of yesterday uh, and a bit of this morning. Um, it was just a lot of learning and, and remembering how these uh, how these shaders worked and also, you know, figuring out what shader graph does. Do you know what took me ages is uh, I, I did not realize why has that gone down there? Sometimes Unity windows are not what I want them to be. Um, it took me ages to realize that you can click on the settings here on this master to change stuff like the surface and the blend. Um, I didn't know that that's where those were. And I spent ages trying to figure out why I couldn't find those settings and thought I had to do it with some other nodes and stuff. And that took me like 
longer than it should have, let's say, to figure out. Um, yeah, not happy about that, but it's okay. It's over now. We've solved it. <laughs>